I remember this book. It was a present for my birthday, March 15, second hand. You can tell by its cover. I wasn't really into it, but I think he knew it. I didn't trust statistics. And that was mine. Uh, you can tell by its cover, it's a statistics textbook. I know you, you're not very into it. I, I know, you don't trust statistics. You know, I feel relieved now that I have a vaccine. This situation has already taken enough from me. George used to always tell me to be careful, to wear a mask, to stay at home, to tell you the truth. All I was interested in was partying, having a good time. Don't take it personally. After all, I get it. You want to have some fun, but be a little more careful. Wear a mask, stay at home for a while. Our main difference? He was loyal to science and I believe in rumor has it. I can even begin to count the times that he tried to warn me, always using data based on statistics. Like, the numbers were there, loud and clear. I, however, intolerant, hardcore to my views, misinformed about the coronavirus. I thought I was the only one in danger. I, I, I didn't show any respect to the rest of the society. Look at the statistics. The truth is right in front of you. The numbers are right in front of you. You're not the only one in danger after all, so you should show respect to the rest of the society. I didn't understand. I don't know what else I needed to hear. Until my 18th birthday, in 2021, the virus had taken more than 2.5 million lives worldwide and almost 8,000 in Greece, including George, which was partly my fault. Crazy, isn't it? This means that 3% of the total number of cases lost the battle for life. I might forget about this book after a while, but I will never forget about George.